I think one of the things that I haven't really talked about um, during my time with postpartum depression is when I was doing this show, you know, it's called The Real. Mm -hmm. And when I was experiencing postpartum depression, I wasn't ready to accept it just yet. Mm. So I felt like I was here, but I didn't feel like I was being my authentic self because one, I was afraid. Um, two, you guys know me to be a very like type A person. I always like to be in control of my emotions and my feelings. And I like to be described as a strong person. Yeah. And in that moment, I didn't feel any of that. Um, I, felt, I felt weak. You know, and I think that's one of the hardest things is to accept that, wait a minute, okay, yes, I might be experiencing postpartum depression, but this does not define me. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's normal and it's okay. What ended up essentially taking you out of postpartum depression? Um, sometimes it's just when your hormones kind of naturally, you know, balance, balance themselves yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, but for some moms, it can happen, you know, for a very long time. Mm -hmm. um, I realized, well, my doctor told me that I was inside a lot. So I wasn't getting vitamin D. Oh, Sometimes wow. simple getting, things. yeah, something as simple as vitamin D can help kind of lift your mood. The biggest thing is you have to make sure you have a great support system. Yes. So that's what really helped me too. So I got the help I needed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And if you have to take medication, that's I was fine. nursing and that was one of my main concerns. Like, yeah. can I take medication and nurse? And my doctor was like, Absolutely. It's okay if you have to take medication. Yeah. You take medication for everything else. Yeah. You have a headache. Pop a, you know, yeah. ibuprofen. Guys, this is our mental health. It's just as important as the rest of our yeah. bodies. Yeah. If not more than anything. Yeah. Yeah. So important.